Science for Society's philosophy is a technology-driven company. So our core focus is identifying problem, converting a problem into a technical solution that we can create and we do a pilot. So the traditional process, the drying time is 25 days to 30 days, 3-0, okay? But in Haldi Tech, it is completely reduced to 12 to 15 hours. So there's basically two major things that you're doing to dry this faster. Yeah. One, you're slicing it to increase the surface area. Exactly. And two, you're using convective drying. Exactly. In traditional processes, the curcumin content is approximately 2.5 to 3 percent. But whatever the turmeric, uh, whatever the curcumin which we are retaining in this uh, turmeric, which is done by Haldi Tech, it's at least 5 percent. Means the minimum 5 percent, and we have found it up to the 6 percent also. And the third thing is the important thing is the labor cost. So in the traditional process, for 10 ton of the fresh turmeric, they need 600 dollar. Whereas in Haldi Tech, it requires a 300 dollar for 10 ton of fresh turmeric. For the first time, we are using all the three principles of heat transfer together. One is the conduction, where this is a metallic surface coated with the black food grade coating. It conducts the heat. Second is the convection, where air is flowing in this direction. And the central part, you can see there is a chimney. So the air carries the moisture and moving out from this chimney. And third part is the radiation, where the sunlight is directly falling through this plastic on these food products. So conduction, convection and radiation, these are the three principles we are using for drying of the product. So the drying efficiency is 50% more compared to other modes of drying. And it works totally on the solar thermal principle. So there are no solar photovoltaic panels are there, no moving components, no electric components. So the operating cost is literally zero for this machine. This machine works without any electricity and, um, and the payback period in terms of pushing this technology into the market is, can be one of the most uh, uh, sustainable one and uh, it will add value to the uh, farm products to such an extent that the issues like poverty and hunger can be uh, addressed uh, using this technology. This episode brought to you by the U.S. Global Development Lab at USAID, applying science, technology, innovation, and partnership to ending extreme poverty.